episode of Damn Fine Meats uh, in celebration of the 21st birthday of the movie Zeus and Roxanne. We're making the Steve Gutenberger burger. Essential ingredients, you're going to need uh, some ground meat. This is, yet again, a pork and beef mix. We're doing kosher salt, black pepper, garlic powder, and this is a ribbon butt rub. Uh, essentially, you can make it at home. It's got a little bit of cumin, a little bit of paprika, a little bit of salt, coriander, things like that. Uh, you can also find them prepackaged in most grocery stores. Since we're doing a stuffed burger, we're also going to stuff this with salami, mozzarella cheese, and you're going to need one egg as a binder. So, we're going to start uh, pretty simply here. We're going to turn our pan on, get that up to a good heat point, while we start working with the rest of our ingredients. So, for the stuffing on the inside, we're just going to take some salami. We're going to take your typical sandwich slice, although you could also use a uh, whole salami sausage. You're going to want to dice that up. And if you're just doing sandwich style slices, you can cut them. Uh, down to maybe sixth or so just to fill the inside of this burger it's a pretty rough cut because you want to know what's in there after it's cooked uh, you just don't want to be kind of biting enough flecks of meat we're going to set that off to the side of our cutting board we're going to take our salami and or our mozzarella and we're just going to slice through this uh, now the knife that i'm using right now uh, it's almost like a saw blade type knife. It has very small teeth that you probably can't pick up, but you work it just like a saw. Uh, if you're using just a regular chef's knife, you just go ahead and do those straight cuts through it. We're gonna dice up this uh, mozzarella as well. This is your burger. Add as much mozzarella or salami on the inside as you want. For us, we're doing about two ounces of mozzarella and uh, about three to four ounces of salami on the inside. Now, I know some of you are thinking that this is a weird choice for a movie about a dog and a dolphin, but legend has it that Steve Gutenberg um, wanted to become an actor, went to City University of New York in Albany, then left to California to go pursue acting. Uh, the only thing he was able to take with him was his dad's briefcase, $300, and a salami that his mother gave him. So, for Steve Gutenberg, here's some salami. All right, now that we have those cut up, we're just gonna leave those off to the side. We're gonna work with our burger mixture here. Like I said, burger, uh, beef, beef, pork mixture, crack an egg. Uh, just, we're gonna use this as a binder. You always wanna crack an egg on a flat surface. Um, I know you'll see people cracking on the side of the bowl. By doing that though, you have a larger chance of getting egg shell into your burger mixture and that's no good. Like I said, kosher salt, just gonna throw that in there. Black pepper, garlic powder, ribbon butt rub. And all that's there for is it's gonna give a little smoke, a uh, little sweetness to it, a little dash of heat in the background. Not too much though. And you're just going to work this pretty vigorously with your hand. Uh, make sure to just get all those ingredients incorporated. Now, as you can see, compared to the last video, which you can still watch on the YouTube channel, uh, this is going to be a smaller burger, even though it's going to be stuffed. Uh, so we're just mixing this into a pretty consistent, uh, I don't want to say paste, but almost paste-like consistency. Go ahead and get your hand in there. Um, if you're doing this with a spoon, you're not going to be able to completely get that feel as to when it should be done. But it should be just uh, soft enough for you to kind of pick up and mess with, but a little slimy still. Uh, you're going to want both hands for this process. And all we're going to do is we're going to form out a uh, patty. You can go about this two ways. You can either create the bottom base patty, then lay your ingredients inside, or you can create a bowl and then um, add your things to it and layer a top one over it. Personally, I like uh, doing kind of a base first. We're just gonna do one about the size of the palm of your hand or so. And we're going to uh, take some of our uh, cheese and salami and things like that. We're going to add it in there, 
And then we're just going to scoop meat over top, form it into a bowl. And as you can see, the pan is starting to get good and hot. So let's go ahead and get that going. So we're just going to take uh, kind of a, a handful here of this mozzarella. We're going to press it into the center. Now you want to, your patty should expand out while you're doing that, but you don't want the cheese so uh, pressed in there that it starts touching the bottom of your hand. That's too much and that's no good. We're going to take some of this uh, salami here that we've got chopped up. We're just going to throw this right over top. You're going to want kind of an even distribution of salami here. You're going to want it to cover up your mozzarella cheese, but like I said, not so much that it's touching onto your hand. Then we're going to take the rest of our meat and we're going to create a top on that. Now at this point, all this meat and everything like that, you're going to want to take your base layer and kind of start curling up your fingers to have it touch all the way with this top layer. You're going to want to press them together. And this is going to be a little bit harder than the previous two burgers in terms of getting a nice seam along the outside, but <clears throat> it shouldn't be so difficult that it's impossible. We have our uh, bun here, or our patty, all set up. We're just going to take a little bit of oil that we have here. We're going to drop it right here in the pan. We're going to get that going. As you can see, as I'm pouring this oil in, it's going to liquidate out some. Uh, that's just the fats uh, starting to separate some. And we're going to wait for that to get some type of uh, coating all along the bottom going. Now, if you have any of this meat stuck on your hands like I do, you can test out by uh, just dropping a piece of meat. You hear a little bit of sizzle. We want that to get a little bit hotter just before we reach that smoke point. And uh, if you have another plate, you don't have to hold this in your hand like I am, but we're going to go directly into the pan here. So we're dropping this in. You're going to want to be careful uh, with the amount of fats that are going to be going from the uh, salami and the mozzarella cheese from it melting. Uh, you might get a little bit of splash while you're, uh, while you're cooking through. So just be careful with your hands. You hear that sizzle there? We're just going to let that go for a little bit. Uh, it's actually more imperative that this one's cooked more thoroughly than most other burgers because you don't want to have any lingering bacteria on your stuffing on the inside. Um, but yet again, if you're cooking this, uh, I'm cooking it at about medium here on this uh, cast iron pan. You're going to let it go for about two or three minutes and then we'll go with the flip. We'll see you on the other side. Alright guys, so we've been sitting here for about uh, three minutes or so. You can see there's uh, some amount of browning along the bottom. You got a little bit of cheese coming out, which is to be expected. Uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to hit this flip here. Look at that. Alright, so we got a nice brown crust here on the bottom. Uh, we're just going to let this go for about another two or three minutes here on the bottom. Um, while that's going on, let's, uh, let's do some talking here, folks. Alright, so the mozzarella we're doing is just a whole milk mozzarella. You could do any type of mozzarella that you want on the inside. If you're looking for something a little fancier, uh, you could do a buffalo milk mozzarella. That's going to have a little bit more inherent creaminess to the final mouthfeel. Uh, it melts a little bit better, but it doesn't hold up to a bite as well. Uh, you could do skim milk mozzarella. Uh, those are the three main varieties you're going to find. You could do any type of soft cheese on the inside as opposed to a mozzarella, possibly like a, some type of brie or something like that. Salami, we want the hard salami. You could go Genoa. You could go a, a Soprasada. It's not really specified what type of salami Steve Gutenberg was carrying. And I've never met the man myself, so I can't actually ask him. We just went with a hard salami, got a nice bite, nice little bit of spice to it, um, good overall mouthfeel. Also because of the amount of uh, kind of marbling fat that you can see throughout the inside of this thing, it's going to keep the burger on the inside juicy, kind of, uh, no matter how thoroughly you cook it, if you go all the way to a well done, you're still going to have a nice bit of juice between that and the melting mozzarella on the inside. We're just going to let this sit for about two minutes. We're going to go ahead and cook that off, and then when we come back, we're going to do the plate up.
We'll see you then. Two minutes on this side. Uh, as you can see, the browning is starting to take effect, and we're ready to go ahead and start assembling this. Um, we got some more mozzarella that we sliced off, where we're just going to set that on top. We're going to let that melt for a second here. Um, if you're using a non-cast iron pan, uh, you can theoretically cheat and add a little bit of water to your pan. Um, put a lid on it and go ahead and just let that steam real quick. But we're just going to let that sit there. Uh, we got some of this uh, salami that we cubed up on reserve. We're just going to set this off to the side. We're going to give that a little fry and that's going to go right on top of the burger as well. Uh, this extra piece, that's for you. You go ahead and you have that. So, we got our bun set up here. Uh, if you want, you could put this right here in the same pan, which is what I plan on doing. If you want, you could take a little bit of the cheese that came out and put that mop, put this burger, bottom burger bun right on that cheese and melt that cheese right into the bun. This top bun we're not going to do anything with because if you're going to add condiments, you're probably going to want to add it right to that top bun. And you don't want that to be oily or uh, buttery, cheesy, anything like that, or else your condiments are just going to slide off. It'll be hard to hold your burger with the top bun sliding around. So, now that that's assembling, uh, this salami cooks up uh, incredibly quickly, especially since we don't want it to burn. We just want to release some of those uh, essential oils that are inside, get a little crisp. So we're just going to go ahead and flip that over. Um, you can see the cheese here is starting to melt a little bit from the excess. We're just going to pull off this bottom bun. See, he's got some of that burnt on cheese, a little bit of the oil soaked into it. Uh, a little bit of fats there. That's exactly what we're looking for. All right, so we're pulling this burger off. You can see it's got some nice caramelization even along the outside from a couple times where it rubbed up against the side of this pan. Uh, we're just going to throw that right there. Stacking up good and tall. You can turn off your pan here because uh, we don't have anything else going in. We're just going to uh, make sure that these get these bits of salami get caramelized. Uh, you get again that Maillard reaction that you're looking for that little bit of crust. Because uh, there's so much fat in salami naturally, it's going to start to curl up a little bit. When it starts to curl, that just means it's good and ready to come off. So you're just going to want to take a couple bits here, and you're just going to put those right on top. Um, if you're a little bit more health conscious, you can pull these off and kind of dab them with a paper towel, get some of that excess oil off. But if you uh, if you're just doing it just like I am, then uh, with no condiments on top, then that top bun gets a little bit of love too from some of that uh, some of that fat. Make sure that's off. We're going to set this on a cooled off burner so it doesn't keep going. Set that off to the side, and there you go. Uh, beef and pork burger stuffed with mozzarella and salami. Mozzarella on top. A little bit of uh, fried up salami on top of that. That's a Steve Gutenberger. Yet another damn fine meat.